total quality management. So production is not all about converting raw materials to finished goods and selling them at a competitive price. The quality of the output is very crucial. Poor quality costs companies money. This can be as a result of one. When quality is not emphasized, unskilled or inefficient labor could be used, leading to more waste or abnormal loss, increasing the cost of the product. Secondly, when goods of poor quality are delivered to customers, it can taint the reputation of the product or the business and lead to the loss of goodwill. Now, this is a factor for declining of a product in its life cycle process. There might also be additional cost incurred for the replacement of those goods with poor quality delivered, which might cause the business to run at a loss. Now, the following principles can be adopted to quality management. First, the customer must be held in high esteem. That way, production will not be haphazardly done to ensure that they get a product of high substance. Two, it must be emphasized that getting product manufactured rightly the first time is way less costly than correcting defects. This will reflect in the quality of materials to purchase, proper employment and training of labor, and management of overheads. Thirdly, no room must be allowed for any level of error or defect. The normal loss must not be explicitly okayed, even though it is expected. This will ensure utmost diligence resorted to in the production process. The responsibility of ensuring quality must be placed on the shoulders of all employees instead of making it the reserve of management. Lastly, the business must be sought to quality control certification programs to avoid delivering goods of poor quality. That is where we are going to draw down the curtains on our presentation. Catch us again another time. Stay blessed.